Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Before we begin today's lesson, let's pray. Heavenly Father, once again we come to you asking you to open our eyes and ears to the things that you would have us to hear and see. Lord, open our hearts that we might be able to receive the truths of your word and teach us by your Holy Spirit, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is Jonah's Prayer. It's taken from Jonah chapter 4, verse 2. When God saw the humility of the people of Nineveh, he diverted from the destruction he proposed against them. This infuriated Jonah. And in chapter 4 and verse 2 of this prophecy, we see Jonah's prayer to the Lord concerning his altered plans where we read, And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray to you, O Lord, was this not my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and you repent of the evil. The verse begins, and he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray you, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? The writer began with the words, and he prayed, which means Jonah intervened, interposed, meditated, and entreated unto the Lord, who is Jehovah or Jehovah, the existing one and the proper name for the one true God. And Jonah said, or he spoke, he uttered, he answered, he promised, he intended, I pray to you, which is an interjection that means I beseech or beg you, O Lord, which refers to Jehovah, Jehovah, who's the existing one and the proper name for the one true God. Was this not my saying or Jonah's speech, word, and utterance when I was yet in my country, which is all one Hebrew word, Adama? and refers to the ground, land, specific plot of land, earth, substance, uh, the territory and country where Jonah resided. Jonah's plea and appeal before the Lord was that he mentioned this while he was still in his own country. The verse goes on to say, Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and you repent of the evil. The writer continued, therefore I fled, which means that's the reason I ran away, was put to flight, reached, shot, and hurried away before or in front of and in advance of and and led before in anticipation unto Tarshish, which means yellow jasper and was a city of the Phoenicians in a distant part of the Mediterranean Sea to which the prophet Jonah was trying to flee. For I knew or perceived, found out, discerned, discriminated, and distinguished by experience that you, which refers to the Lord, are gracious, which means merciful and and benignant. God, or the one true God, Jehovah. He said that God was merciful, which means compassionate. He was slow to anger or long-suffering and patient to wrath, which is shown in the nostrils of the face. And of great, which means much, many abounding, more numerous, exceeding, captain in chief, kindness or goodness, faithfulness and favor. And you repent or are moved to pity and have compassion with ruinies of the evil, which means the bad, disagreement, malignant, unpleasant, pain, unhappiness and misery And this was the reason that Jonah fled to Tarshish. Because he knew if Nineveh turned from the wickedness of their wickedness, the Lord would be moved to pity for them and not to bring the judgment upon them that he proclaimed. When we think through the words in this verse, we see the wonderful grace of the Lord God. And we discover the disappointment that Jonah had knowing God was this way. Jonah desired for Nineveh to be judged for their evil. And when he thought about proclaiming judgment upon them, he knew knew there was little chance that God would turn from destroying them. 
We may have people in our lives whom we desire God to judge. And by thinking through this verse, we may learn the Lord is filled with mercy and compassion, and he is reluctant for any to perish. This was demonstrated by Jesus Christ when he came into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. For those who will hear his voice and obey the drawing of the Holy Spirit to put their trust in him, he is not only willing to save, but ready to spare them regardless of how others feel. Next time we see Jonah beg for God to take his life. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.